Hi, I'm here to see Mr. O'Devon. I'm the new temp. I'm uh, Adam, Adam Greenwell from Temp to Temp. Hi, I'm Sally. Have a seat. Mr. O'Devon's just on the phone, he won't be long. Great. Can I get you a cup of tea or anything? No, thanks. Hello? Hi, Mr. O'Devon. Adam Greenway is here to see you from Temp to Temp. By the picture, that was our Halloween party. We went out with head office for reaching our annual target. Ended up at Mr. O'Devon's cottage. A little bit messy. I'm sure I can't get you a cup of tea or anything. Maybe a glass of water if that's alright. So, did you have to come far? Or Hello, GRS Administration and Monitoring. How may I help you? Mm -hmm. Adam? Yes. Hello, Martin O'Dev. Pleased to meet you. Good to have you on board. Uh, come this way. Did you find the office okay? Yeah, well, some idiot in a car must killed me the lights, but oh. I know the area pretty well, so it wasn't any trouble. Oh, good. Oh, not about the car, obviously. Uh, you're local then? Yeah, well, I've been at university for about two years. Studying? Uh, film studies. A film expert, eh? Oh, my daughter did art history. Do you know the one about the man who had the head of a fly? Oh, what was that called? The fly? Oh, that's it. Oh, it's one of my great favourites. Uh, that and the one where the kids get stuck down the well and then they never get out again. Huh. Still, you'll find your film skills are of little use to you in this job. Yes, I didn't expect it to. Excellent. The job is mainly filing. Several files will come through to you during the day. It'll be your job to input the information into the computer and then file away the paper copy. Well, what sort of information is it? Well, we're a department of social services. So, generally speaking, we deal with people from all walks of life, all ages. We deal in death certificates. Not the cheeriest of jobs, I know, but a job that has to be done nonetheless. Social services hand the personal information about their clients onto us, and we sign them out. Now, these are your work colleagues. Hi. And these are the files. Everything okay so far? Well, death certificates, it all seems pretty simple. Well, you take the files from the left-hand side, input the relevant information into the computer, and then you put them back on the right-hand side. In alphabetical order, of course. June, she's your neighbour, and she'll show you the ropes. But you look like a smart lad to me. I'm sure you'll pick it up in no time. OK. Well, I'll uh, leave you to get on with it, then. <laughs> Tea and coffee are in reception. Do help yourself. Ian Robotham, age 43, heart attack whilst jogging. Hello again. How's it going? Yeah, all right. I'm just getting used to everything, but it all seems pretty simple. I was wondering what you were doing tonight. I, I don't know. I, I don't have any plans. Well, there's a few of us going to the pub across the road, if you fancy it. Yeah, that, that sounds great. It's the Ferryman's Arms. Do you know it? Well, I don't think I do. Well, it's across the road and through the churchyard. See you there about 5.30. So across the road and through the churchyard. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll see you there. See ya. How's 
Adam, over here. <laughs> I always wanted to go to university. Well, why didn't you? I don't know, I tried to save, but I just couldn't seem to get any focus on the future. <laughs> really? Why? I don't know. Um, I had a bit of a dip in confidence a while ago. I was with a guy who was a little bit aggressive. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm really sorry. No, 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 it's fine. It was a while ago now. It just shook me up at the time. And what happened? No, it's not you. You don't need to answer that. No, 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 it's okay. Um, I started seeing this guy. And he was lovely to begin with. He used to buy me flowers and take me out all the time. And it was moving really fast. And before either of us knew it, we were living together. God, it's really true what they say. You don't know someone until you live with them. And he drank a lot, which I'd never noticed before. Anyway, he started to get violent, and he hit me. The first time, I just put it down to being an accident. But there's only so many times you can keep telling yourself that. Not once it kept happening. How did it stop? Um, he ran off. I was leaving him. He came home early and found my bags packed. And he went mad. It hit me harder than he'd ever hit me before. It knocked me out. And when I came round, he was gone. I think he scared himself. Never saw him again. Anyway, soon after that, I got this job and started getting my life back together. Oh, and I know I really shouldn't get involved in this job or I'll be a minus drone before I'm 30, but I just seem to spend all my money in the pub and on new clothes these days. You tell. <laughs> Not the pub. The clothes, I mean, they look, they look great. So what would you study if you did go to university? Oh, um, English, writing, psychology. Oh, look, it's John Barnison. He tried to grab my ass in the photocopying room last week. He did what? Cheeky fucker still thinks it's 1974. He dresses like a team. Are you sure we can't drop you first? I don't mind coming back here. It's alright. Don't be silly. It's nice to see chivalry isn't dead. <laughs> Are you sure I can't tempt you to a coffee? <laughs> Maybe next time. <laughs> Good night.